It is true, the makings of you. Hello, hello, hello. Evening, good morning, good afternoon, good people. It's your host, Mr. D713 with Everything Culture. And you know what it is. We're back with the makings of you. We have our guest here, Prince. He's going to be an upcoming guest and the main person we're going to be talking about on an upcoming episode in this following week. So we'd like to introduce Prince. Can you pronounce your last name for me, Prince? Prince Sungwon. Okay. I'm going to work on it. You know, but <laughs> that's why I love it. I love it. So this segment here, Megan's of You, is just open-ended questions. Some of them direct. I won't say open-ended. But it's okay. up to your interpretation. You know, we, the people, myself, we want to know more about you, a little bit about your background, where you come from, so you're rich. Not to, we're going to talk more about traditions in the episode, but we want to know more about Prince, okay? So, All right. How you feeling? I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. I feel good. And it's just, it's all around happiness. All right, I love that. I love that. So, Prince, first question. How would you describe yourself? That's a very tough first question already. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get into it. Cause you know, I'm a person, I don't really like to talk about myself. So I guess that's how I would describe myself already, just right off the bat. I, I don't really like talking about myself too much, um, but I am kind of, I feel kind of uh, open. So I'm pretty much an open book. Um, so if anyone asks me any questions, I'm very open to it. Uh, I like to be very happy, so I always try my best to, uh, and I know, you know, my happiness and what makes me happy. And so uh, I try to always, you know, just be content within the moment. So um, just a happy person. Uh, I try to be nice. Uh, <laughs> um, and yeah, I'm just really open. I'm really supportive. Uh, I've been told a lot that uh, I'm a good listener. Um, so, uh, I like to listen to people and, and give feedback wherever I can, um, you know, if folks are looking for that. Um, but yeah, I just really love to support people and see everyone flourish. Perfect. What do you identify as? So, um, so you were, you weren't keen about the open-ended. <laughs> um, so, um, I go by, uh, my pronouns are he, him. Um, and I identify as Kawhi American. What's your astrology sign, if you know it? Ooh, astrology sign. I, I'm not too big on astrology. Uh, so I think, but I, I will say like, I don't know if this is right or not, but I'm gonna say I'm a, I'm a cancer. I, I know I'm a cancer. I'm not sure if that's astrology, but I'm a cancer. <laughs> Your birthday just passed like in June? June, yes. You're, you're a cancer brother, okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's cool, hey, I, I don't know all of them, I just know the, the ones around mine, the ones around mine. <laughs> okay, how would you define your childhood and your up, upbringing? Ooh, that's a really good question. Um, I think very unique, I'll say unique, and I'll just leave it at that. Do you have any siblings? If you do, where do you fall in the lineage of your siblings? So I have four siblings. I'm the youngest out of four of them. Oh, baby boy. Okay. Okay. <laughs> where do you consider home? Um, that's a very good question. I think uh, where I consider home is where I feel, feel most comfortable at. All right. Thank you. Growing up, did you have any chores? If you did, what were they? Always make your bed, clean your room. Uh, and to me, that was stuffing everything under the bed and in the closet, um, doing dishes, taking out the trash, uh, vacuuming the house. Yeah, washing parents' cars. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> We, I got you. Loud and clear, baby. Loud and clear. What were and what are your beliefs? I believe that, that every person deserves to be happy. Um, and every person knows their own strengths and weaknesses. And nobody else can tell you that. And Or like, nobody else can control that off of you. You know your own weaknesses and strengths. Um, and sometimes it takes a little bit to 
discover those, but I definitely believe that everyone deserves to be happy. Um, and only you can do that for yourself. Right. What was an impactful moment in your life? Impactful moment, probably one of the most impactful moments was, um, I think when I hosted, uh, I, I hosted this you know, pretty big event for the community and I didn't really know how it was gonna go. And um, just to see the end result of so many people supporting it, especially my family, um, that was that was really big for me. That that really uh, made a huge you know impact within my life and then my ideas of what I could do even further beyond you know just that event. So uh, that was the Khmer Community Potluck 2018 or 19. Yeah, yeah, 2019. <laughs> How do you define joy? Uh, joy, I would say um, it's just that that spur of the moment that that brings you just that that brief happiness. It's just kind of like a preview, and it's not it's not like an it's like it's not an overview of of what makes you happy. It's just that 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 single moment uh, of happiness, the excitement. It's that is what I would define as joy. What privileges do you benefit from? Ooh, good, good question. Um, I know I'm gonna miss a lot here, but uh, the from just off the top of my head, uh, this is actually a really deep question uh, that I'd like to to go more in depth about. Uh, you know, of course, later on. But um, I think the privileges that I definitely benefit off of it is uh, being Asian American, um, being a non-black POC, um, being a um, male, one of the biggest. Um, uh, I definitely benefit off of being in the middle class and, and the, the privilege of having food and, and being able to know that I have food and, and can pay for it. Uh, I benefit off the privilege of being um, just being part of my family um, and yeah I think I there's so many other mores that I'd like to explore but I'm gonna just stick with that for now okay how were you disciplined growing up Ooh, um, I'm gonna say typical Cambodian way, typical maybe Asian American way. <laughs> For the folks that the, the Asian Americans watching, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, parents are ready to whatever's in their hand. You just just know, just whatever's in their hand. <laughs> yeah loud and clear I, for, for whatever reason I, uh, but it's not about me it's the making right. of Prince it's the, it's the making of Prince okay who were and who are your role models I want to say uh, my parents first and foremost uh, definitely my role models um, I would say uh, the Buddha um, is also definitely a role model um, I have several uh, monk friends that are also role models uh, and I also like to see myself as a role model uh, because to be able to see myself as a role model that makes me kind of, it puts myself at a higher standard of which I could I know I could do more and it really keeps me there um, and doesn't let me you know kind of lack. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> All right, last meal. All right. What will it be and who will prepare? It could be whoever who will prepare. Last meal, just like in general or for whatever reason? Okay, cool. Um, so you said last meal, what would it be and who would prepare it? Oof. Oh, this is tough. Um, Last meal, I would probably say um, one of my all-time favorites is uh, chicken katsu. Um, and my partner, Memi, she makes a very delicious dipping sauce to go with it. So I would say she would be the one to prepare my last meal. And she knows, because she knows exactly how I like it. So 
Yeah. <laughs> Smart man. Okay. <laughs> I'm just messing with you, man. All right. What is your favorite holiday? My favorite holiday. Ooh. Um. Favorite holiday would be would probably be um. There, there's this Buddhist holiday. It's called Visakha Pucha. Um, and it's a holiday that is kind of in remembrance of everything that is connected to Buddhism. Um, for instance, like the Buddha's birth, his enlightenment, um, and his teachings, and that kind of, that's one of my favorites. I, I wouldn't, yeah, that's one of my favorite uh, holidays because that helps me remember um, kind of my beliefs and kind of what I live by and kind of to con continue practicing that. So I'd say that's one of the things. Yeah. How would you want people to remember you? As a happy person and for someone who, again, that always supported everybody else. Um, and yeah, I think that's it. Just supportive and happy. And last question we have here. How would you describe your culture? Ooh, my culture, um, resilient. I'm just gonna leave it one word. My culture is, they're just resilient people. And I, that just falls into the culture, so. Perfect, love it, I love it, man. So, right here, would you have any shout outs, anything you wanna drop your handles, where people can find you, anything? Sure. Um, definitely find me on uh, Instagram and Facebook under uh, my first and last name, Prince and Mulan, this all together. Um, go ahead and like my Facebook page and Instagram. I'll be posting um, pretty much what I talk about uh, and some life lessons maybe here and there. All right. There you go. There you have it. Thank you so much again, Prince. We look forward to hearing more about you in this upcoming episode this week. Make sure to tune in. Everything culture, you can find us on all anywhere you almost can hear a podcast. You can find us, but we're on YouTube, find us on Facebook, find us on Instagram, Tumblr, and on Twitter with every THG culture. Thank you so much. God bless.